everyone. Thank you for being here for this Pick a Pile reading. I actually put a community post on earlier and asked what you'd like me to do a Pick a Pile on and a lot of you voted for a message from the universe so that's what I decided to do. So thank you for tuning in for this reading. Send you so much love and if you're new to the channel subscribe and join our beautiful family because we're here for you every day. So I'm going to use a beautiful deck for this. This was actually given to me by one of my clients. It was free with a magazine. So I don't know what it's called, but it's a beautiful deck. And we're going to use this to bring in some beautiful messages. And I'm going to use three beautiful crystals. So all I need you to do is tune in with the energy of these crystals. And whichever one is calling you is the pile for you. One, two, three or three. Now you may be guided to a couple of crystals here but it's whatever is guiding you there's a message there for you. So it doesn't really matter if you're drawn to one or all three because the angels will tell you what you need to know. So we've got the beautiful pink crystal for pile number one, this beautiful like green like just a beautiful green for pile two and a beautiful blue for pile three. So one two or three you may want to pause it pick your pile and when you're ready let's go let's do this if you do enjoy this give me a thumbs up because it does mean more than you know so pile number one then we're on one minute 38 welcome one minute 38 for pile one thank you angels what would you like everyone watching to know what would you like everyone watching to know? Wow, okay, amazing. We've got a climate of acceptance coming out for you. A climate of acceptance. So as you can see in the card here, we've got the storm energy, the darkness, and we've got the sun breaking through. So this is showing you that whenever you accept something, things will change. So if you're struggling with something that's happened, maybe something from the past, now's the time to accept it, to bring in healing, to move forward, to bring in a better future, to bring in healing energy. The card says, if we could generate a climate of acceptance, perhaps we wouldn't need to feel challenged by people's differences, but instead could all learn to accept that each person is unique with with his or her own unique way of thinking, feeling and seeing the world. So we wouldn't always expect them to think and behave like us, but instead could accept the strength in variety and diversity. So in other words, if someone's triggering you or it's getting up your nose because they are acting a different way than you want them to. Just accept them as they are. So if you're a twin flame watching this and your divine masculine isn't waking up as quickly as you'd like them to, isn't acting the way you want them to, and, you know, it's a challenge for you, just accept the situation for what it is. Soul growth and learning. You know, whatever you're going through right now, everybody's different. If you're going through a challenge with a family member or in a friendship right now or with a colleague at work, realize that everybody's different and they can only understand from their level of perception through what they've experienced in their life, what they are going through. And until a person walks in your shoes, they'll never be able to understand you. So if someone can't understand you, it doesn't mean they're doing anything wrong. It just means they're not in your level of awareness yet or they haven't experienced what you've been through. So, you know, this is about not judging anyone, letting it go, having no expectations on the journey and trusting that there's always a climate of change, that things will always change depending on your level of perception and on your journey and what you have to experience on this journey so trust that the universe knows you better than you know yourself you're going to be guided to people that will trigger you for soul growth and learning you're going to be guided to situations that will challenge you for soul growth and learning so that you can appreciate the light in the darkness because without darkness there is no light and you always overcome it with the light by being you 
by standing strong, by remembering who you are. So any dark times, any storm energy, any challenges you're going through, know that the sun is breaking through and that when you accept the situation, all will be well. Sometimes it can't be changed, it can only be accepted and when you accept things as they are now, a peace will come in and you'll feel better, you'll feel stronger and you'll be ready for what's to come because when you accept the past, you open a doorway to your future and you let it go, you let go of the struggle. You let go, you forgive the past, you forgive what people have done or the way they've behaved and you realise, well, they were just doing the best that they can, you know? Like all things you've done in the past, you may wish you could have done something differently but it had to happen that way and you were doing the best that you could at the time. So forgive yourself, forgive others, accept things right now and when you accept, you open the doorway of change. So change coming in enjoy it today know that you are strong and powerful and the universe is watching over you and you've got this and they've got you and I always say that trust in the way you feel because it's real you know understand that you're on a journey a journey of change a journey of enlightenment and most of all a journey of accepting where you are so stand strong today you've got this have a beautiful day and I'll see you soon wow Pile two then for the green crystal, we're on 627, welcome pile two, thank you angels, thank you universe, wow look at that straight out the deck, we've got two cards for you, the first thing we've got is attract more good and we've got greater fulfillment, so the cards are saying to you, when you attract more good, you become, you know, full with a greater fulfillment, things start filling you up, more things come in, so when you're in a state of allowing, a state of attracting, good things come, more good things come, and you can see that things start to bloom, the sun shines again, so anything you've been going through, better times are ahead, the card says, if you want to attract more good into your life, you need to ad adapt an attitude of gratitude. One of the good things about developing the habit of being grateful is that you will naturally begin to feel more joyful and less concerned about what you haven't got. So the more grateful you are, the more you have, but you also release the need to want it now. So if you're wanting something now and you're focused only on that, you're closing the doors to more, you're closing the doors to abundance, you're creating a lack mentality and you have to realise nothing is lacking in this abundant universe and that you have exactly what you need right now. So you may not have exactly what you're wanting but you have exactly what you need and that's a great place to start, a great place to start to attract more good to bring more good in and the attitude of gratitude will bring in and work miracles for you and you know I have to go back and tell this story when I started on my spiritual path I thought I was a grateful person I said thank you every now and again and I thought that you know I knew what gratitude meant but I didn't really understand it and then I read a book called The Magic by Rhonda Byrne. She's the author of The Secret. And if you read The Magic, you'll realise you're not grateful at all. That gratitude is in everything. It's not just in saying thank you or feeling a little bit of comfort now and again. It's about having a deep respect for the universe and realising that when you were born, you were given everything you need and throughout your life, you've been given everything you need and that's such a blessing in your life. Everything, all the challenges, the struggles, the obstacles, the family that you've been given, the situations you've been put in, it's all taught you what you need to know and when you have that attitude of gratitude and you even bless the bills that you pay you realize what life is all about that it's a journey of knowingness finding yourself becoming more and when you become more you open the doorways to have more because then you're enjoying what you've already got so the universe can't wait to give you more so if you want more in your life if you want to attract that person or that specific thing you desire, be grateful for what you've got now and allow more to flow in 
and that will bring in a greater fulfillment to your life it will bring in power strength and safety because safety is a fulfillment knowing that you are safe that you are strong that the angels have got you when we're spiritually connected we can experience improved relationships enhance creativity a sense of purpose and direction a deep inner peace and a real enjoyment of our lives being spiritually switched on gives us greater happiness and fulfillment so this is about fulfillment in every area of your life in your relationships in your career in your finances having better health better relationships with family members and great friendships and you know good relationships with colleagues as well and people you pass in the street it's about loving life it's about being present in the moment, the power of the now, realizing who you are. It's about tapping into source energy, tuning into the universe, knowing who you are, standing strong, understanding that you're here for a reason. And when you live in that energy, nothing can touch you. And people will look at you and say, wow, what's that person doing their eye on? Why are they happy? Why are they fulfilling their dreams? And they'll have an awakening through you. You'll create an aha moment within them just by being you. So the angels want you to know today how powerful you are, how strong you are, and that when you have an attitude of gratitude, you open up doorways for greater fulfillment. And you not only attract all the material things that you want, but you get the fulfillment from within you because happiness is an inside job and that's the most important lesson of all. I hope you've enjoyed that. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you soon. Wow. Pile number three, then 1151. Welcome, pile three. Thank you, angels. Thank you, universe. What do we need to know, please, for pile number three? What guidance have we got? Wow, I'm taking two cards. Wow. So the first thing we've got for you, pile three, is reach a different state. And then we've got um, the things you must enjoy. Sorry, the things you most enjoy. And they are saying the things you must enjoy. So you must enjoy life to bring in the things that you most enjoy. So the angels are saying it's about reaching a different state. Now, for some of you, you may be reaching a different state by, you know, moving, you know, a different state, a different part of the land, a different location. But for most of us, this is about reaching a different state of mind. It's about raising your vibration. It's about vibrational alignment with source, the universe, angels and the higher power. It's about knowing who you are. It's about reaching a higher level of consciousness, reaching out and feeling positive, knowing who you are. Some people's spiritual wake-up call happens during major changes or trauma in their life, such as a near-death experience, the birth of a baby, or the serious illness of someone close to them. At these times, we become very focused, so the more superficial preoccupations of everyday life get pushed into the background, enabling us to reach a different state of spiritual awareness. So this is very much about being in the now and noticing everything that's going on around you. It's about trusting in who you are. And, you know, the angels say that as human beings, we sweat the small stuff. You know, we worry about things that we don't even need to worry about. We worry about what time it is. We worry about when a person's coming around. We worry about what tomorrow's going to be like at work. We worry about silly things that we don't need to worry about. And sometimes something will come in and create a trauma where we think, wow, why were we even worried about that silly thing? It was nothing really. You know, if you go through an illness or, you know, you go through a family death or, you know, someone's ill in your family. You guys know more than anyone that when you haven't got your health, you've got nothing. So when you feel ill, when you've got a cough or a cold or something happens, you stop worrying about the small things and your things just kind of make sense a bit more. You start realizing how grateful you are for your everyday life and the now becomes powerful. It becomes powerful. 
When we go through an awakening, you know, it's because of a great change in our life. And we start realizing, wow, there's so much more than what we thought. So some of you watching this may be going through a spiritual awakening right now. Some of you watching may have gone through a few spiritual awakenings. You may be reaching a higher state of consciousness right now. But all of you who've picked this pile will be realizing how insignificant certain things are. You'll be realizing, wow, I'm actually thinking about things that don't actually matter. You know, these are obstacles that can be overcome in the blink of an eye because you have the power within you to create worlds. So when you realize how powerful you are and you reach a higher vibration, you realize you are powerful. Because when you're vibrating on a high level and you're created in your vortex of creation, everything below that is available to you. When you're operating on a lower vibration, all the things that you're wanting are up here and they're out of reach to you. So when you raise your vibration, you're more likely to manifest quickly everything you desire and everything you're desiring will start flowing to you. So this is about desires coming in, seeing the truth. And when you do the things you most enjoy, the universe blesses you because you're in happiness energy. You're living in bliss. You're living in joy make a list of the 10 things that bring the greatest happiness and start to incorporate at least one of them into your life every day this could be spending more time out in the fresh air doing something creative like painting or writing listening to music spending time with friends baking reading or stargazing or any number of other things you might enjoy so the angels want you to write a list of 10 things that you love to do and do them. You know, start living your life, start enjoying your life. Instead of worrying about things, start living. Instead of thinking about somebody else, start thinking about you. Start putting things into practice. You may even think, right, okay, I'm going to write down a bucket list then. 10 things or even 100 things that you want to do before you pass. And start bringing them in as well. Start living your life like a magical adventure. Because each day is a gift and it's being given to you. So enjoy your life. The angels are saying to you, if you've chosen pile three, when you live in the now and enjoy your life, you're going to open the doorway to miracles because you'll reach a different state and power will come in. So think about that today. If you're thinking about things that don't really matter in the grand scheme of things, if you're sweating the small stuff, give it to heaven. Allow heaven to take over and you focus on the things you most enjoy and the things that make you feel good because that's what's going to change your life and that's what's going to move miracles. I hope you've enjoyed this. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you soon.